friends, welcome back to my channel. Or welcome if I haven't seen you before. So today I thought it would be fun, since I've talked about it before, about doing a video, kind of like a review, my thoughts since doing the Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University. So we went, we were a couple weeks behind everyone else, but we went to, um, I think it was in March that we started going. It's a nine week course now. When we first took it, like right after we got married, it was like a 13 week course. So I think they've kind of streamlined a lot of things, made it a little bit, you know, more succinct so people don't have a lot of extra lessons to go through. So first of all, what Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University is, is it's a kind of like a class setup. Most churches are the ones that host it, but basically they like watch videos from this guy. His name is Dave Ramsey. He's basically been a multimillionaire person and he's been bankrupt. So he kind of uses like his own personal experience to kind of say, you know, this is how you should, you know, deal with your finances. And the reality is a lot of people don't in like, especially in the U S like there's just a ton of like, we're being marketed to more than any other generation in the entire world. And that's karma. Just ignore her. <laughs> and I feel like it's really hard because like as soon as you get to college, they start signing you up for credit cards and stuff like that. And he's really not a fan of credit cards. He feels like they are, um, well, they're debt. And he's really big on like not being in debt or getting out of debt as best you can. So we decided to do this class again because we, you know, get, went through a bunch of crazy stuff and we bought the travel trailer and bought the truck this year which was um, kind of a response for lack of other words because there were certain things that we were wanting to do that we weren't able to do. So we decided to, hey, let's get a travel trailer and a truck to go camping and make memories that way. So we wanted to get our um, you know, finances in order, under control, so we can comfortably be living our lives, getting our debts paid off. So he has, I think they're, is it a nine? There's baby steps that he has you take. Like your first baby step is have a thousand bucks in the bank. Cause basically when you stop using your credit cards, you need to have a little bit of a saving. They call it a emergency fund in the bank so that you have your, uh, like if something goes wrong, you have a little bit extra money to cover it. So like baby step one is thousand dollars. Baby step two is he calls the debt snowball. So basically you put like all your debts kind of together. And then when you pay off one debt, you put that amount of money on the next debt down. So as you continue to pay off debts like credit cards, car loans, or whatever, you add more and more to it. So basically you're still paying the same amount of money you did at the very beginning, but you're paying off everything a lot quicker. Like a lot of people have said that doing that, they've been able to pay, you know, like five year loans in like two or three years or 10 year loans in like five years. So it almost cuts a lot of these bills in half. So. I really like the principles that he lays out. I really think that the funny thing about it is that it's all simple concepts, but it's so difficult, I feel, for like us as consumers to do because you're basically preached at all day, every day. I mean, movies you watch, if you watch TV at all, books you read, or just advertisements everywhere, everywhere you drive by on the billboards or advertisements on storefronts and especially on the internet when you're on like Facebook or stuff, that's like you are literally marketed to from like as soon as you start watching TV till when you die. And it's so counterintuitive to like what they tell you to do. Oh, get a credit card, it's no big deal. Everyone's got credit cards, you know, you wanna look expensive, you wanna look like you're on top of the world or whatever. So I really think it's a good thing. I personally think anybody who not even even if you're not having financial issues to take do it because I mean we're not really having any major financial issues we just have a lot of bills and I feel like it's a good idea for anyone even if you're not even if you don't have a lot of debt to do it just to get the concepts down because I think it's really hard in this day and age not to want to go out and spend money that you really don't have in order to feel good about yourself or to live a lifestyle that you think is you know everybody wants you to see or whatever I don't know how to say it but my biggest positives are I think it's really good. I think it's really helpful. He keeps everything pretty simple and he talks about things like investments, you know, saving for kids college because I have two of them so that, you know, 
I've thought about that, like how are you gonna get them through college, saving for um, like paying off your house as soon as you can, after you pay off all your debts, and then saving for retirement so that you can enjoy your retirement years without having to stress about money. Um, because let's be honest, Social Security, <laughs> I, I've been told my whole life not to count on it and it, it, it's sad because of course I pay taxes and I would like to have a safety net for whenever I retire but that may not happen, who knows. But um, I think it's really great, I think everyone should do it. My concerns for lack of better words, the one things that I don't like about it as much is it's very like hardcore, like he is like sell any extra stuff that you might have, you know, sell your car that has a high payment and like get an extra job if you need to and i guess part of me feels like that like he goes like really extreme with it which if you want to pay off all your debts like some people paid off like 50 to 100 thousand dollars in debt in like two years so yeah like that would make it happen but i guess i personally feel like life happens and i think the approach that we're trying to take to it is we're still being pretty like aggressive we're not we're probably not going to do any big trips except for we already have one planned for disneyland this year but other than that, we're not planning on going to like Ireland again or you know Europe or whatever. So we're trying to like cut back on our extras, but still do things like locally. Like one of the reasons why we got the trailer is so that we could do more local events and stuff because it's just easier with a trailer. You can go to the beach or go to the mountains or go to you know the desert actually. So I feel like it, he's really extreme with it. So I kind of like rein myself in because I think a lot of people like even psychologically, we need to have a little extra, you know, fun time or fun money or whatever. And he does say like, that's fine if you wanna have like a budget for like blow money is what he calls it, to blow on whatever you want. But just make sure that you have it in your budget and you're, you're like living within your means. It's ridiculous though, think it. Like I, my friends, my family, how many people I know that like, are not living within their means and it's it's hard because I think like I said you you see all these people and advertisers and, and on Facebook you see all these people having these perfect lives and you think oh I have to do that whenever they're probably drowning in debt <laughs> so another thing that I don't particularly care for I mean this is a Christian um, it is a Christian program that's why most churches do it he is a Christian he you know has verses to back up kind of his reasons for doing certain things but I don't like, and this is maybe my own personal like kind of, oh, because he's a huge advocate for like women to stay home with their kids. And I'm definitely not saying that's not totally cool, but my issue is if you're in that much debt that your husband has to get like more than one job because of, um, because of choices that everyone, that both, you know, the whole family made. I, I don't like how it's like, oh, well, but she can stay home with the kids, but you need to go work. Now, I totally get that daycare costs are astronomical, and I totally get that, you know, finding a job that would work opposite shifts is one thing, but he seems like a big advocate for women stay home no matter what, and that kind of bothers me. I feel like if you can get a job to help your husband get out of debt, even if it's for a short period of time, I think that would be, in my opinion, beneficial as opposed to... Um, not but that's coming from a working mom and that's probably I I mean I sometimes do feel sensitive about being a working mom especially because in the Christian culture I think stay-at-home moms are like the gold standard but I personally feel that stay-at-home moms I know many that are amazing women and that they their kids are awesome well adjusted they you know play with them they do things with them and then I have known a few that literally sit their kids in front of the TV all day so I don't see it as being both a good choice. Some moms are better moms because they work. I consider myself a better mom because I work. Who knows? I'm not going to say I'm not going to stay home someday, but right now that's just our plan. So final thoughts on it are number one, I really like it. I think anyone should do it. I would say, you know, make sure that you're doing the debt snowball and stuff, but also know that like you're going to have events coming up and you're going to have trips that you're going to do. So make sure that you're like keeping an eye out or not keeping an eye out. Make sure that you are um, planning for that, making sure you have a budget in place, and know that like life happens. But the thing is, you can always start over at the baby steps too. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments about, you know, more about my experience or about the program, feel free to leave them below. I'll try to answer them as best I can. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.